In this video, I'm going to show you the best ways to fix a knocked knee at home. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe from Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. So in this video, we're going to address knock knee, also known as collapsed knee or knee valgus. All of these exercises, what we're going to do is really retrain the muscles to correct imbalances, deal with coordination issues, everything that is associated with knocked knee. These exercises are going to focus on different group muscles around the lower back, the legs, and around the knee. So it's very important that you go through all of them and notice which ones you have a lot of trouble with because you probably have some weakness that needs to be identified and you can really target that to hopefully bring everything back into balance. The only special piece of equipment I'm going to be using is a chin-up band. You can buy these locally at a sporting goods department. You can also get them online such as at Amazon. If you do choose to get them online, I will provide you with a link in this video video's description. So let's get started with these exercises and fix that knee knock right now. So let's start with some warm-up exercises that are going to help target the lower back, the glutes, buttock, legs, everything that's going to be needed to just loosen everything up for the future exercises. The first one, what I'm going to do is start off in a lunge type position. This one right here, let's put a pillow or a towel underneath the knee for extra comfort. What I'm focusing on doing is the knee that's in front of me like this, I'm going to start to swing out like this as much as I'm able to go. So you'll see that I'm just kind of swinging this leg out while keeping this one straight. You want to try to get this one almost completely out to the point where it is in line with your ear. Slowly build into that one. Go as far as you're able to go. You should feel a great stretch into the groin in the inside of the legs, all around the legs right here, even into the glutes and lower back. Once you are able to get as far as you're able to go, put your hands on the hips and then do a side lunge into it just like this. You're going to feel it really activate those muscles around the leg and into the back. So only go to your comfort level. You want to hold this for up to 10 seconds. You're just going to relax, take a bit of a breather, and then on the next repetition, try to outswing that leg just a little bit further with it, and then from there, lunge into it even deeper to get a better stretch. Five complete repetitions, and then from there, switch to the other side to make sure both sides are kept in balance. So for the second warm-up stretch, we're going to start off on all fours. Again, put a pillow or towel underneath the knees for extra comfort. What I'm going to do is make sure that I don't have rounded back posture, but just nice, neutral posture. What I'm going to do is then from there, take one leg and go completely straight out, just like this. Knee is going to be locked. You're going to want to wear socks if you have carpet. You can also do this one barefoot if you do have smooth floors. But we want to be able to do just nice, slow, gliding motions like this with little friction. So let's take one leg like this and just go and slide it out as far as we're able to. You're really going to feel a very good stretch into the leg, especially the inner part of the leg. Only go to your comfort level. Once you hit that point, hold this one for 10 to 15 seconds. You're just going to relax and then slowly repeat. On the next repetition, go even further with it. Challenge yourself because it's going to help stretch and activate those muscles even more to help that knocked knee. You want to do this one slowly for five complete repetitions. From there, always switch to the other side to make sure that both sides are then kept in balance. So a lot of people notice clap knees or that knee valgus, especially with a squatting movement or just trying to reach and pick something off the floor. So let's do a air squat with a twist to help correct that and hopefully lead to a lot less knocked knee. What I'm going to do is start off with the feet about hip width apart. I'm going to then shift my weight onto my heels. And the next part is let's take our uh, chin up band, wrap it around twice and place it just above the knees. Let's take the knees outwards into that resistance. So you want the band nice and snug. When we do this, we're always going to keep our knees into that therapy band. So what I'm going to do from there is make sure that I have very good upright posture in my back, no pelvic tilt, put my arms out in front of me and just simply go into a squatting position. My weight is on my heels and I'm just going to lower the butt down towards the floor, just like this. Only go to your comfort level. You're definitely going to feel the uh, muscles in the glutes, buttocks, legs really start to fire. So only 
Again, keep going down to your comfort level. Once you hit that point, try to hold this for a couple seconds. And another note, make sure that your knees are not going past your toes. If they are, shift your weight further backwards into better positioning. And then you're just going to come back up. You're going to take a breather. Make sure that the knees are still pointing outwards into that band. And then just simply repeat this up to 12 times. Each time, go a little bit deeper in that squat to challenge yourself and strengthen those muscles. So another great exercise to build coordination into the muscles that are responsible for that leg and knee movement, let's do a lunging position that's also going to incorporate this band. I'm going to loop it around a doorknob on one side, close the door so it's sturdy and doesn't come back to whack us. Let's take the band and wrap it around the leg that is furthest away from the door. Let's get into a lunge position. So one knee is going to be bent while the other one goes straight like this. Let's take this knee that has the uh, band around it and go outwards with it. Drive it into resistance while you do this movement. Let's put our hands on our hips, just like this. Make sure that we have no pelvic tilt and our back has very good upright posture. From there, we just go into a lunge, just like this. Take that knee down towards the floor. You want to do very slow, controlled movements. Really focus on the muscles in the back of the legs, also around the glute and the buttock. You want to do this just slowly for 10 to 12 times while driving that knee into the band. From there, you just want to switch to the other side to make sure both sides are kept in balance. For this next exercise, we're going to do a plank with a side clam built into it. Let's start off on the floor on one side. From there, what we want to do is bend the knees like this and our upper body weight is going to be supported on our arm just like this at 90 degrees. Let's put one hand on the hip, and what I'm going to do is take the side right here of the hip and drive it up towards the ceiling. When you do this, you're going to feel a lot of muscles being activated on the side right here. You want to hold this for a couple seconds. The second part, what we're going to do to really focus more on knock knees is to take the top leg and then go into a clam. So what I'm doing is I'm lifting the leg up and taking this knee and rotating it outwards like this. You're going to feel a lot of muscles being activated across the low back, glutes, legs. You want to try to do this in a nice, slow, controlled movement. Try to hold this for up to 10 seconds if you're able to. From there, you just relax, take a breather, and then just simply repeat. And each time you do it, really challenge yourself to try to drive this knee out a little bit more and try to get a little bit more with this plank. Try to do five complete repetitions and then simply switch to the other side again to keep both sides in balance. So this next exercise is called a lateral step off. It's a wonderful exercise because it allows us to do coordinated movements with the legs and the knees to really make sure that we're not getting that inward collapse or that knocked knee. I'm going to go next to a staircase. And so instead of this yoga block right here, imagine it's a step. I'm also using this stick right here for demonstrative purposes. If you feel like you need a little bit more support, imagine a wall right here, right by that staircase that you can grab onto. You can also just use a stick. So the exercise is very simple. One foot goes up on the step, the other one is going to hover off. What I'm going to focus on is keeping the knee straight during this exercise while the other foot just simply goes down just like this towards the floor. We don't want to let the foot touch the floor. Just let it hover over it a little bit. Try to hold this position up to 10 seconds if you're able to. You're really going to feel the muscles around the knee and the leg uh, start to activate with this once. And again, make sure the knee does not go inwards. From there, come back up, take a breather, and then you want to do up to 10 complete repetitions with this. Nice, slow, controlled movements. And like always, once you're finished on one side, switch to the other to make sure that both sides are kept in balance. If you liked the video and got a lot of relief, please show us your support by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing to our channel too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching.